In the next several videos, we're going to study what I call the three I's. The three I's stand for identity, ion, and isotope. The identity of an atom or element, that's determined by the number of protons that it has. If an atom is an ion, that will be determined by the number of electrons that it has. And the way we can tell um, isotopes apart is by the number of neutrons that they have. So in the next several videos, we're going to look at all three of these. But a as a quick review, in the middle of an atom is a nucleus, and it has protons and neutrons. Outside of the nucleus are the electrons. Remember, the protons have a positive charge, and they have a mass of 1. The neutrons have no charge, and they have a mass of 1. The electrons have a charge of minus 1, and they have no mass. So keep this in mind as we watch the next several videos. Identity. The number of protons an atom has determines what element it is. So here we go. It's called the atomic number. We can see that hydrogen has one proton. That's its atomic number. So once again, what makes each element different is the number of protons that it has. For example, iron has 26 protons. Iron is right here on the periodic table. Cobalt has 27 protons. So the most significant difference between iron and cobalt is the fact that iron has 26 protons and cobalt has 27 protons. In fact, what makes iron iron is the fact that it has 26 protons. And what makes cobalt cobalt is the fact that it has 27 protons. And each element on the periodic table has a unique number of protons.